Hey there, it's Tamara, your dating and relationship coach with gift ideas for you. So is your partner ex of service? You need gift ideas then for holidays, anniversaries, or birthdays, special occasions. I've got 42 gift ideas for you guys, and I've detailed them with links and images in my blog at true-connection.net. Stay tuned. 42 gift ideas coming your way. So step one in trying to give a gift that a acts of service person would love is really understanding the love language. A little trinket, maybe some kind of lotion isn't going to really be great for them, but they'd be great for a gift person or a touch person, right? So acts of service means your partner gives love and receives love by helping, doing things, you know, maybe doing the dishes or mowing the lawn or running the errands for you. So that might not work for you at all, but your acts of service partner needs and wants your help and feels loved when you are helping them and supporting them. So gifts then, what in the world can you give an acts of service person? Well, there are a lot of really neat gadgets or gifts out there that could be a huge help to your partner, like an Instapot or a garden weeder, <laughs> something for the laundry. I mean, there's all sorts of things, but there's also fun things that you can do together. So something that's gonna help your partner, but you can do an experience together. Like for instance, if your love language is quality time, you can make that into something special for them and then you spend time together doing it. Or maybe your love language is touch, so you hug and kiss while you're spending this time together. True-connection.net, get on the blog. There's an acts of service blog for regular gifts and an acts of service blog for smaller gifts stash in their work bag or hide in their car or leave on the bed when you go away for, you know, a night out with your friends, something special for them to find. You can get on my website anytime you just click on the image, it will pop up and you can see if it will suit your partner. It's going to be a huge help to you. And then your love languages, you want to understand your own too, because your partner is going to ask you what you would like for your birthday or anniversary or Valentine's Day or the holiday. So if you haven't taken the assessment, Google love language assessment just takes 20 minutes and you'll want to understand your primary and secondary. Happy shopping, happy anniversary, happy holidays, happy Valentine's Day. If you want to reach me, it's on true-connection.net too. I can help you better understand the love languages. And I put a link to the book also so that you can just look up that chapter. I mean, just look up quality time. Just look up gifts and read that section about your partner and about yourself too. So you can kind of convey what you need and want for affection. Contact me anytime. Happy shopping. Happy anniversary. Happy holidays.